Hey guys, what's up? It's Let's Go Fishing here, and today I'm going to be attempting the Survival Fishing Challenge. So as all of you guys probably uh, probably know from uh, watching YouTube in the fishing area, a very popular challenge has been going on, and uh, it's the Survival Fishing Challenge. So I'm going to try uh, to complete this, doing it very basically. And then I'll probably do another one where it's a bit more advanced targeting, bigger fish, maybe even making some lures. But I'm here um, on my property, and this is where we're going to get most of our items. And then we're going to head down to Pondex, get the rest of our items, and go fishing. Um, in this challenge, I'll be making my own hooks. Uh, I don't, maybe line. I'm going to search Pondex and see if I can find some any line. Probably will be able to. I'm hoping, like... Uh, 10 to 12 pound test, uh, preferably floro or mono, I uh, don't really know. And then I'm also going to be making a hook, and I'm going to be finding my own worms. So, I'm not necessarily worms, but my own bait. Yeah, we got Blaze here with us. Here, here Blaze. Oh, he's, he's interested at the bottom. Oh, oh but Anyway, so that is what we'll be doing today. I have a pretty good idea on where I'm going to get my... Uh, pull from, I did a bit of scouting, and uh, it's actually right here in my backyard, so I'm going to come back here. I'm going to grab some, oh. we got some lawn shears, so that way I can cut it, the branch, in a fairly, uh, straight manner. I would use a saw, but I don't really, considering it's up in a tree. I really don't feel like doing that right now. So, yep, we got our chickens back there. So if you hear them, it's just our chickens. So I'm thinking, oh, um, there they are. Uh, sorry for the polite quality. Um, there's this big old tree right here. There's a couple straight branches in here. That's where I'll begin my pull from. So I'm gonna cut it down and show it to you guys. Okay, right, guys, so I got my pole here. It's a bit curvy. And I got this side all nice and neat. So, I'm planning on doing is I'm going to tie my line about right here and wrap it around the ends of it, then tie it off and have that extra end running down. Um, there's some bar bar that I'm going to go get my hook for. So, um, what? let's go over there and we'll head over to Pond X. Get some bait and uh, hopefully find some fishing line to use. Hey guys, I'm back in the shop. I got really lucky while I was over there. And I found this little rod of iron because I couldn't get a barb off the barbed wire. I wasn't wearing gloves, so I didn't really want to try to bend anything or anything. I, I just had my pliers, I was just trying to like push it through. That didn't work, so I just left it alone. Started scavenging around to see if I could find any uh, parts of metal. Uh, it is a bit, bit rusted. This side. Seems to be pretty good, so I'm just going to snip it right here uh, to get all this rust out of here. Okay, guys, so I'm back after about an hour. Um, I gave up on the wire because it was just way too thick, so I couldn't cut it. I got a piece of uh, electrical wire and uh, made a crude little hook. My one concern is that it's multiple pieces, and... Uh, since it's metal and it made for electricity, I can't heat it up to like fuse it. I did rub it along some sandpaper to make it a bit sharp, um, but it's really as good as I could get it. And I just folded that hook over itself a bit to make a little I loop. I'm going to go lift over some rocks and get some worms. Um, I'm just going to skip that because that's pretty basic. I don't want you guys to be bored. Um, excuse me. And then I'm going to go down to Pondex and see if I can't find myself a um, some line. All I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a net with me too. So I'm just going to try to set the hook long enough to pull it up and me net it. And that's pretty much how I'm going to be catching my fish. Cause... So you guys have a whole bunch of fish down there. Um, I was lucky enough I found like about 10 feet of uh, what looks to be like a, uh, I'd say like 8 to four pound mono it looks like could be four oh, i don't really know that was just left under these rocks i'm sitting on right now uh, like i said there's a whole bunch of 
fish down there. And so I'm gonna I got a whole bunch of like a little like mealworms in here. I'm just gonna toss it out. See how hungry they are. Oh yeah guys, they just went up there and absolutely destroyed it. I'm gonna throw a couple more of these in. I'm waiting for my mom to come down here because she's gonna film me that way I can show oh my gosh guys there are so many dag darn fish. Zoom in. Those are mealworms. There's like a million of them. So I'm gonna wait for the plane to pass. Okay, it seems like wherever you throw these little mealworms or really anything where they go. So I'm gonna get this little worm on here right now. I'm gonna put it on and try to catch some fish. Okay guys, I think now's the time. Have my pants hiked up, boots and socks off. I'm going in. All right, so guys, I went around and uh, trying to find lures because my hook kept on bending bending out. I just got really mad and uh, I actually found one of my trout magnets that I lost about two weeks ago because uh, I'm not the best at keeping lures on my line. They tend to um, get snagged and stuff and I saw this big branch and I knew I had snagged up on it before so I pulled it out and I found a yellow trout magnet. No joke. First cast with the primitive rod and line set up and uh, caught this little dude. Uh, get him unhooked. So, my rod and reel works. My hook does not. Nah, I will admit that much. My hook does not work at all. Oh. What you get, boy? I'm trying to flip out my hands like that. Yeah, guys, look at that, dude. Nice little dude. I'll give him the release in this murky water. And he's mute goes off. So I'll show you guys what I did. Came here, threw my line on here. And uh, my line came off, so I just retied it. So I have a lot more line now. I just came here and just flipped it in. And he just came up there and completely left it. That's pretty much what I was doing. Except for the first one, I just come I just picture them. Try to find them too. Oh, there's one. Oh, he hit it. How little crowd over there now? Boom. Oh, dang it. No, it's pretty much just like fishing a regular one. And there's one. Well, I'm gonna unhook him and see how many more I can catch. Or he can unhook himself. Hey guys, just caught my third fish. That's a little trout magnet. Now we'll, we go. Just pitch in that same spot.